I think this is the coolest paint ever. It literally looks like Chick-fil-A sauce. Wow, this is cute. Like 30 minutes straight just whisking. Ew, water, not to drink. Hi guys, so I'm super excited for today's video because today I'm gonna be reviewing things I saw on TikTok. I spent a lot of time on TikTok, so I feel like I picked the perfect items because I saw all of these on my For You page and I was like, dude, I totally have to try those out. So I was like, what if I bought a bunch of different stuff that I saw on TikTok and tried it out for you guys in one video? Thought that would be super fun, so that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So I picked out seven items. I actually feel like I got a lot of items for this video and I'm gonna try all of them out to tell you guys what they're supposed to do. I feel like I got a good range of items. I mean, they're not just all beauty products. Let's get started into the first thing. So I'm going to try the first thing for this video that I saw on TikTok. This is something I've been seeing literally everywhere. Everyone's been posting about it. Um, this is the whipped coffee and I've actually made this before and it's amazing. I'm literally obsessed with it. I posted it on my Instagram story. I've made it with boba. It's amazing. I think the whipped part makes it taste better even though it obviously doesn't. Just kind of like makes you think it's better than it actually is. It's super easy to make. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. First thing you're going to need is a bowl. I'm gonna take one tablespoon of instant coffee. Everyone does two tablespoons of each thing, but when I do two tablespoons of each ingredient, then I make way too much. So I'm only gonna do one. Put that in the bowl. Then I'm adding one tablespoon of sugar. Next, I have to heat up some water. The last ingredient is one tablespoon of hot water. So I just warmed up some water in my Keurig and then I'm gonna add that as well. We have this little mixture of the sugar, coffee, and water, and I'm going to mix this. So there are two ways you could do this. Well, you could either take a whisk and whisk this, but when I do that, it takes like 30 minutes straight just whisking until I get it to the right consistency. Take a mixer and mix it with that instead, and it takes like five minutes, so. Your turn. There we go. Okay, so basically now I'm just gonna take this and mix it until it's like a whipped consistency. So look, like, it's gonna get puffy and it's gonna be delish, so. This is what the finished product looks like. I mixed for like three minutes. It looks like this and it's this, look how good that looks. So after we have the coffee done, it's whipped, looking good. We're gonna use some milk. I'm just gonna use almond milk and pour it into a cup. Now that I have my cup of almond milk and my coffee, I'm just gonna like pour the coffee onto the milk basically. So just like on top, I just pour it like this, mix it in a little bit. But yeah, so that is pretty much the final thing. You just kind of mix it up and then it looks like this and it's like super um, whipped on the top. So that is the finished product. This is the whipped coffee. I've added boba to it before and it's super good. And now we can move on to the next thing of this video. Now we're on to the next thing to review. This looks like an ice cube tray, but it's not. I am so excited for this. When I got it in the mail, I was like, I'm just so excited. So this is paint. They're gauche, gouache, I don't fucking know. I've never tried this type of paint before, but it comes in this cool case. And then on the top, it has this um, little palette. Basically the reason I bought this it's actually really cool because it comes in these containers They look like sauce. I've heard nothing but good things about this paint I heard it works super well and because I really do like to paint then I thought this would be really cool to try out um, So it comes with 18 different colors and they all come in these little packages that have the paint in them I think this is the coolest thing ever because they look like sauce it literally looks like chick-fil-a sauce. I love it open some of them up and start to use them. So I thought it'd be fun to like paint something, see how they work. So first I have the paint obviously right here. I'm gonna take this little palette out and use that as well. It also comes in pink, but I really liked the mint. Despite pink being my favorite color, I decided to go for the mint color. This bag is full of paint brushes. I have a paper towel, water, not to drink. 
and then a pen and pencil and then I have my laptop here because I want to watch Gossip Girl while I paint. I'm re-watching Gossip Girl again if you guys didn't know. I used to do all these really cool paintings with like, I don't know what how to describe it. It's this really cool painting and it has a lot of detail and it's like different scenes. I did like a coffee shop, I did like a kitchen. So I don't know if I want to do something like that. I think I'm just going to paint a bunch of random stuff. There's red. These are all the colors that I'm going to try. Like they blend so nicely together. There's my little boba and my sushi roll. I really, really, really like this paint set. This is one of my favorite art supplies I've ever purchased. I think the price of it is really good for the amount of paint you get, for the colors, and for the quality of them. I've never used this type of paint before, so I don't know if there's like a certain technique to it, but they were really easy to use. I just used a little bit of water. I definitely rate this a 10 out of 10. I love this paint. I made this one. You made that? My scissors, my scissors, scissors are clicking right now. Why do you need scissors? Sure. What are you? You guys are crazy. Next. I'm in the bathroom. I'm about to try the next thing that I saw. This is something I've been so ready to try. I was like, no, I can't do it until I record myself. Like, I have to wait. So tonight's the night. I'm finally going to try it out. So, so this is from Ulta. I'm sure you guys will know what it is as soon as I tell you. This is the Ordinary Peeling Solution. So this is a 10 minute exfoliating facial and it looks like this. Red Drops is supposed to be really good for your skin. It's really strong though. It's only meant to be left on for 10 minutes. A 10 minute exfoliating facial. Yeah, that's fun. Basically what you do is take off your makeup, wash your face, and then dry your face. And then with the little dropper, you apply it to your skin. I know people use like cotton pads to rub it in or they put on gloves. I don't know. I've seen a bunch of different things, but I'm just going to use my hands and then you rinse it off and face makeup is off. And now I'm going to apply this. Let's try this. Are you recording that? Yeah. That looks so gross. Yeah, it's like Fuck, to be honest, it already starts burning. Yeah, it's supposed to. I've heard that a lot of people get, like, the first time they use it, it's kind of uncomfortable. I think I can make it through it. Ew, that looks really weird. Weird. Interesting. This is so weird. You know? I put it on. I think that's a pretty even distribution of it. Yeah, it kind of does burn to be honest. Like it's just a little tingly. Like if it burned bad enough, I would take it off. But like I started my timer already because I'm worried that if I don't set a timer, I'll just totally forget about it and leave it on for like an hour. So the timer's off. It's been 10 minutes and it's time to rinse this off. Obviously, there's not going to be crazy differences because I just used it for the first time. I'm definitely smoother. I could definitely feel it just being super smooth. I wish I could show you guys like a progress photo, but this was my first time using it. They say to use it like once a week, so I'm going to try continuing to do that and then hopefully see results. Now on to the next thing. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be trying are these. I'm very excited for this next thing. As you guys know, I have these LED lights around my room. I have them on all the time, every single night. These are super popular on TikTok and I bought them because I saw them on TikTok and I was like, I need those, I want them. But I saw a TikTok where someone bought an LED light that's waterproof so you can have it in the shower. And I'm thinking, I spend a lot of time in the shower. What will make me spend even longer in there? These. They're waterproof LED lights and they're meant for like a hot tub. So I really wanna try them in my hot tub as well. So you put them under water and they're totally fine. So I put some batteries in them and now we're gonna see how they work. And then tonight I'm gonna go in the shower and in the hot tub and see if they are cool or not. Cause I'm just thinking like showering with like these lights, that would be so cool. Like right, that just sounds so awesome. It comes with two remotes, but I'll probably use these together wherever I go. I think just one remote will work. They're so bright they have tons of different colors these colors low-key are better than those led lights so i'll come back to you guys in a little bit at the end of the day when it's dark out all 
Alright guys, so it's nighttime and I'm gonna try out these lights finally. They've been sitting on my desk all day, but I'm finally gonna try them out. So I'm gonna put on my swimsuit and go out to the hot tub first and see how they work. After that, I'm gonna take a shower and have those in the shower as well. I just got a new swimsuit, so I'm gonna put it on. I'm in the hot tub, you guys can't really see me. So I'm gonna try these out. I'm so excited. I'm a little nervous because these, although they're waterproof, you have to like tighten them on super tight so the water doesn't go in them where the batteries are. But I'm nervous I didn't put them on all the way and I'm gonna put them in here and they're not gonna be closed. I'm gonna put one of them on this side and one of them on that side. This is scary, like I just put that underwater. Fuck, god damn it. Why didn't I turn them on first? Whoa, this color is nice. Here is what it looks like. Wow, it's like transformed. Wow, this is cute. You know what, the only sad part though is that like if I wanna change the color of them, I can't do it from above water because it doesn't, maybe if I go really close to it. <gasps> that works. That's cool as fuck. Wait, is the remote waterproof? Fuck. Why would the remote be waterproof? But why wouldn't it? I just spent a good 10 minutes getting water out of this remote. I got it out, it works fine now. I mean, worst case, I do have a second remote that it comes with, so. Drinking it, the first time using it, that would really be only something I could do. The ideal thing to do would be putting them on the ceiling, one on each side of this, because it would just glow the whole thing, but I don't wanna do that. I don't know how I would get them to stick up there. Might as well just not do that. So what I'm thinking is we have this little shelf thing right here. What if I put them like face down on one of the shelves, like the top one, so I could put them like this. Turn them on like this, and then I'm gonna turn off the lights in here. Looks like a horror movie lighting. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna be trying out again is from Ulta. I've been seeing this product everywhere. This is the Ulta Juice Infused Lip Oil. So it looks like this. It's like this lip product, um, really cool, and it comes in a bunch of different scents, flavors. So I got the Sweet Rose one, but there's also coconut, peach, like a bunch of different kinds, and it's all this clear, like, kind of goldish looking. I've heard that this is a great lip product because it's kind of glossy, but it's like a lip oil, so it's not sticky. Cause I'm not a lipstick person, but I like stuff like this. So I feel like this is definitely something that I could use all the time. Ooh, listen. All right, so I don't have anything on my lips except chapstick that I put on a little bit earlier. I mean, it's really soft and it looks really pretty. Like it's kind of shiny, kind of adds a little bit of color, but not really. I feel like it kind of enhances your lip color a little bit. It's just very lightly shiny. It's not like a gloss where it's like boom. I do like really shiny lip gloss. So this is with one coat and it's a little bit shiny. I really like it. I feel like this is the perfect everyday color. Definitely what I look for in a lip product. Yeah, I mean, it smells a little bit rosy, but not really. Like this is in Sweet Rose. I don't really know what that is supposed to do. I'll probably put this like in my car or in my purse so I can just have it wherever I go. So my rating of this product would definitely be like a nine out of 10. I think the price is super good. This is only $9 and you can get it at Ulta and I recommend it. Hey guys, so right now it's nighttime. I'm touching up my makeup a little bit because I'm gonna use my projector tonight. I saw this photo shoot with a projector like years ago and I was like, oh my God, I have to do that one day. Like I'm literally inspired, I have to do it. So for the longest time, all I wanted to do is take pictures with a projector, like projecting an image or video over you. The style of it is so cute and like just the poses, like the backgrounds you could do, it's like, I don't know, I love that. I finally got a projector. So I'm going to set up the projector, make sure everything works, and then find some things on YouTube to project. Um, for a pretty good price, and I read all the reviews, and they were pretty good. I just wanted to make sure I got a good one because there are literally so many options of projectors. So this is the one I ended up getting. It's the Aw King Mini Projector. Hey guys, okay, 
so it's the next day. I tried setting up this projector last night and I literally did not have the right cord. I spent all of today trying to find the cord that I needed to plug in an HDMI cable into my laptop. First I went to Best Buy and I bought a cable but it ended up being the wrong one. So then I went to Target and bought this one. This was $25, which is ridiculous. I'm gonna set it up. I cleared this part of my room so it's just a blank wall. Um, I had my whole rack there, which is now over here. I don't know, I kind of just picked a bunch of random stuff. Like I have a long list of YouTube links right now. Cool, yay. Plug this into my laptop now. There, and that's my laptop screen. So if I sit kind of like down here, then it, the image will be like projected over my face. I'm gonna set up a tripod right here. That's pretty good. <gasps> Yay! Um, the last thing to do, because it's a little bit hard to see, is turn off the blue lights. Okay, it's so dark in here. That looks so cool. of disco lights. It's literally like I'm at a party right now. So this next thing I've been saving for forever for this video. So this is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. So this was $8 and when I bought it, I was like, fuck, $8? Like that's kind of a lot. I don't want to spend that. And then I was like, wait a second. I don't know. It was just like so weird like seeing an e.l.f. product over like $1 or $2. This was an $8 primer. It's everywhere on TikTok. I mean, I've seen so many people use it with their makeup and say it's like so good. If this $8 primer is good, then that's great. I know they also have a matte one, which is just like a clear primer. I've seen people use both. This one seemed to appeal to me more, so I'm gonna use this one. Oh, wow. This is really big. For $8, this is much bigger. This reminds me of like MAC packaging. It's a weird consistency. I don't know if you guys could see. But like when I touch it, it like kind of... I moisturize my face, everything's ready, I'm ready to prime. So I'm going to take some of this. I don't know if it's going to make a difference throughout the day, like of my makeup lasting long. But I mean, I definitely think it made a difference in my pores. I definitely think it like made my skin feel more refreshed. So I applied it, my face looks matte, my pores definitely got smaller. That's exciting. It's like super soft on your skin. I'm gonna finish my makeup, but I do like it. First impression, I'll definitely use this every day. So I finished my makeup. I don't know if it made a difference when I was applying it. I mean, it does look softer around my nose area. My makeup didn't go on easier, but I think once I applied it, it does look like a lot better around this area because that's where my pores stand out the most. I just woke up and realized I forgot to record an outro, so here it is. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching that video. It took forever to plan, edit, and finally get done. So sorry about the no upload for a while. I literally tried seven things, like that's so much. All of the items that I talked about in this video, I literally still use, like I love everything. TikTok recommends really good stuff apparently because everything worked great and I like everything that I showed in this video. So I hope you guys liked it too. Um, I hope you guys liked watching. You guys can definitely check out my TikTok and see what I post, and I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye! Mwah.